everyone. Today we will be evaluating sigma notation. On the side right here, I have um, um, the notation. I have the sigma notation right here. So sigma notation is represented by this Greek letter e right here. So it looks like that. The number on top refers to the upper limit or the uh, the last value that we're going to be considering. And then the bottom here, this uh, the, this bottom number here tells us where we start or the first value. And the one on the right 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 here is the equation that we have to use to write out the a sum that we wanted to know. So it's, to, to better understand this, um, the very purpose of why this one was um, this one was developed is if we have, for example, I wanna I wanna I wanna determine the sum of the first one hundred numbers. So instead of writing one plus two plus three plus four, it's gonna be a long list. It's gonna be a lot of work, and that's the purpose of having this sigma notation is to shorten that work. Okay, let's take an example to better understand what I'm talking about. So we are supposed to evaluate this sigma notation right here. This is the first value. This is the last value with the upper limit, and this is the equation that we have. Looking at the um, looking at this problem right here again, the purpose for the e here is to find the sum. We we have to add all the numbers that are in based on this equation. So uh, we're gonna to better to make this more visual. We will put um, some blanks here. Um, it says that there are eight terms, so I'm gonna go ahead and write eight terms here. So that's one, first term, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now, uh, what are the ones that we put into this blank? So we remember in the first part uh, when we when we talked about the T of N or the formula to find for the arithmetic um, series. It's again, I will put the, the the link of that video in the description box below. So we know that this is our first term. So this is our A1 and this is the difference. Okay, so that means our first term here is 4, and then we keep adding 3. So we're going we're gonna to keep adding 3 since the difference is 3. So this would be 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22, and 25. Okay, so our task is to find the sum of this. Okay, now how do we find the sum for this? We are going to use the formula that we um, that we we had on the other uh, video. So that's s of n is actually equal to n, the number of terms. So that's eight divided by two times the first term is four, and then the last term is twenty five. So this would be. 4 times 29, and that is 116. So this whole thing right here is actually equal to 116. So this one right here is equal to 116. And you can check using the calculator, add all these together, it should come out to 116. Okay, let's have the second um, example right here. Okay, so we have this um, um, not, uh, notation. So we are going to write nine blanks. So that this would be um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and we wanted to know what is this whole thing equal to okay let's d define this one first so remember that in the equation of um, writing equation of um, arithmetic um, series this is our difference and then this is the zeroth term b so that means the first one that we write here is after this one and since it, it goes down by negative 6, so 25 minus 6 is a 19. 19 minus 6 is 13. 
13 minus 6 is 7, 7 minus 6 is 1, 1 minus 6 is negative 5, negative 11, so we're, we're subtracting 6 each time. So this would be negative 17, and this is negative 23, and then this is negative 29. Okay, to find the sum for this, we're going to use the equation again. So that would be S of N is equal to how many terms there are. So that is, um, that is 9 of them. 9 divided by 2 times the first term is 19 plus the last term is negative 29. So that is 4.5 times uh, negative um it's a negative 10, so then it is negative 45 as the answer. So we can go ahead and write this as negative 45. So that's it. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!